I work on a language that's not related to any other language. It's what linguists call a language isolate. Now, if you go back far enough in time, it's probably related to something, but at this point, it's lost to history. The name of the language is Chirimacha, and it's spoken here in Louisiana. This person asked the awesome question, is it harder to make up new words for Chirimacha because it's an isolate? Well, yes and no. When you know the other languages that a language is related to, you can see sound patterns and correspondences between those languages and this language. So you can see, for example, that every time this language had a T sound, your language had a D sound. And you can use that to infer what a word often would be in that language. The Powhatan language of Virginia used this technique. The Powhatan language is an Algonquian language that's related to all the languages in the Algonquian family. And it was the first language that the British settlers encountered when they settled in Jamestown in 1607. Unfortunately, we never had a lot of documentation of the language. We only have a handful of word lists. But those word lists are enough to show us the sound correspondences between Powhatan and the other Algonquian languages. So when the Powhatan community wants to make new words, they can go look at other Algonquian languages, see how they did it, and translate that or transliterate that into what it would most likely have been in Powhatan. So unfortunately, I can't do that for Chitimacha. However, Chitimacha is part of a contact area where there was lots of trade and bilingualism. It's what's called a linguistic area. And so different languages would influence each other, oftentimes without even borrowing words directly. They would just do loan translations or calcs. So it's kind of like in English, we say skyscraper, but in Spanish, you say rascacielos. And rascacielos literally means skyscraper. So Spanish didn't borrow the word, it borrowed the concept, it borrowed the way of talking about the thing. And languages in the US Southeast, like the Muscogean languages in Florida and Georgia, did this a lot. So whenever I'm coining a word in Chirimacha, one of the things I do is I look at how other languages in the region express or translate that concept. For example, most of the languages of the US Southeast translate the word womb, like a uterus, as child house. They also translate the word door as house mouth. So even though Chirimacha is a language isolate, we still have some pretty robust techniques available to us for coining new words in the language. Thank you.